Today I'm going to be talking about the three fundamental questions of statistical inference. How to collect data, how to summarize data, and how accurate are those summaries. I'm going to be talking about what our class will seek to answer and what it's going to leave for another time. So first off, how to collect data. This is one of the most important questions here. How to collect data, unfortunately, though, is a little bit domain dependent. So we're not going to be covering how to collect data. That being said, I do want to list some resources down below in the description that can help you guys get a jump start if you're curious about it. So check there. How to summarize data is the second question. Again, sadly, we're not going to be covering what are useful summaries of the data. And the reason here is because, again, this is incredibly domain dependent. Uh, depending on what domain you're in, you're going to be looking for different types of summaries. So that makes sense. However, once you get that summary, we're going to be teaching you how to get it from the data. And the way that we're going to do this is, you probably guessed it, using the plug-in principle. What's incredibly nice about the plug-in principle is that it's incredibly general. It almost doesn't depend what statistic you found useful. You can almost always get it with the plug-in principle, and it's almost always going to be right. So that's really nice. The third question is how accurate are the above? Uh, this question we're going to be answering with, once again, you can probably guess it, we're going to be answering this with Bootstrap. Again, what is incredibly nice about Bootstrap is it doesn't really matter which statistic you're interested in. You can use Bootstrap in order to estimate how accurate it will be. And this is very different from other types of techniques, for example, the MLE. So I'm going to give you two incredibly general tools, both the plugin principle and the bootstrap, in order to almost fully answer part 2b and part 3. Uh, that being said, there will be cases when you won't be able to answer them with the plugin and the bootstrap. So I'll mention those cases as well. But I'll guarantee that almost 98% of cases you'll be able to answer after this class. And that's what kind of makes it special.